Gang, gang, what's now, man? Mr. Random checking in. Back with a quick little short video. Today, we're going to discuss these springs for our Speed Daddy 44 millimeter uh, wastegate. Now, the spring that came with the wastegate right here. It's a 14 pound spring. And I ordered this one here from On3 Performance. It's supposed to be an 8 pound spring. Now, I'm not going to take this one out the bag because I don't want to get them mixed up. But it looks like they probably are the same length. So let's go ahead on, open them up, and compare them to each other. See if there's really any difference. So if y'all like the video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share. And um, y'all know we're coming back with plenty more, gang. So like I, like I said... <clears throat> all right so they say this one here is an eight pound spring and i believe it was supposed to come blue it looked a little bluish up top right there so this was my first test i weighed it <clears throat> so got me a little scale right here and we're gonna cut it on we're gonna weigh our 14 pound spring okay so y'all see it 119.3 for the 14 pound spring now let's check out this here spring from on three performance which is the eight pound okay so it's not as heavy as this 14 pound spring now let's check out the length on them Okay, so y'all see that both springs are the same diameter. They both the same diameter, but our eight pound spring is a little shorter. I'm sorry, our eight pound spring is a little taller. You see that? So, and it's lighter. Let's try it again. 105.2 Okay, so what's that 14 pound difference? Yep, so I'm gonna show y'all how we get this thing installed guys We're gonna put this one on the side. We're gonna write 14 on him All right, let's get him installed gang All right gang, so I came up with another test. We're gonna try them like this as well. Now, another thing I did notice between the two, look at our on three performance spring. It has less coils, okay? And we have more on that speed bag. The test bar. Dang, I'll do that. Reload. I don't know guys. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know which one you think is stronger. I guess on three I know what they're talking about, huh? I'm hold on to this one. So we got less coils. More coils, we got less coils, but a longer spring. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's try it out, gang. Let's get them installed. All right, just pull that cover right off of there. Y'all see, we got our, um, what do you call it? look at these things y'all see all right guys y'all see our wastegate and it's just a um dampener up in there y'all see that diaphragm it's just a diaphragm up in there so installing it we definitely don't want to pinch it all right we're gonna put our spring in this is supposed to be eight pound spring we'll see once we um get everything working like i said it's supposed to be eight pounds so I'm just going with what I was told. 
but it is lighter. It is 14 pounds lighter than the other spring. Let me know what y'all think. It's 14 pounds lighter, about an eighth of an inch. Okay, it's 14 pounds lighter. 14 pounds lighter, about a quarter of an inch taller, and it has two less coils on it. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all see, we just set him in place. Like I say, when you're installing this thing, you want to make sure you don't pinch the diaphragm. Let me see what we can get. Take some pressure. Alright, let's try to we're gonna try to close this with one hand. Well y'all see that's pretty tight. That means it's gonna hold that means it's gonna hold this thing here shut. And it ain't gonna let him open to re to release that pressure. Now let's see how easy this one go down. You all see that? So I'm about able to get them with that one. Let's try this one here. That's a little longer again. It does have more resistance to it guys it has more resistance to it so even though it's lighter I guess because it's less metal it still has more resistance to it but with that being said I mean this is for a tile wastegate this not a tile wastegate this is speed daddy but it is um you know it's right so, I don't know, guys. So, what y'all think? Think we should just put this one in there? I think I'm, 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 I'm going to just put that one in, guys. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just put the one that I purchased back in the envelope, send it back to the supplier. And I think we'll carry on from there. So let's get this thing back installed, guys. Unless I just hold it in. Brought me another wastegate because they did say these are cheap. Okay, y'all see how this ain't working too good. It's a lot of tension on there. You want to be careful when you do that. Man, and that's I can't even find out. This is supposed to be an eight pound spring. And with me running this here, yeah. I mean, it might have been the towel. Um, the tile wastegate might be a little taller to require that spring, you know. This one here is a little shorter. I think I'm just gonna rock it, rock with that, guys. I mean, I'm not about to keep spending money on springs. At this point, I might as well just start modifying them, you know. I sent another one back, so. Y'all get in that comment box, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna put this back together and I'm gonna install it onto my piping. Okay, they managed to get me two started. I'm gonna start my other ones and try to get this thing locked down. Well, I guess we're running 14 pounds of boost. Shit, it's been a race car. All right, guys, so I have him back together. Okay, seem like he's working. Seem like he's working. All right, so I do have another port right here. That must be for this other fitting. I'll take care of him while he's right here. I see it comes with your seals. What I like to do, I like to try to line my stem up 
with the holes on the screw. So just remember where your screw go. I got the tip facing it. Don't look like I'm gonna be able to do it on here. You see, unless I put, I could put a little mark on my tip. That's what I could do. Put a little mark on my tip so when I install him, I install him with the opening. Okay, so our opening is actually kind of like in between the two, torn in between the two. Okay, let's get him installed. All right, guys, let's look like we good there. Let's get him installed on two manifold. All right, gang. Y'all see, we got our towel right here. I meant to say speed daddy, but it comes with a firing ring, and that's to get a good seal on this here um, piping on that flange. So I'm going to push him in place. And you see the fire ring, it sits right up in the groove on this here flame. You see the awesome job that I've done. Go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know what you, what you think about the work. Now we got our clamp, and we're just going to install him right over everything. But we're going to have to push it in to get the clamp lined up, I believe. Let's try it out. I feel like we got them on the pretty good. It feels like we got them on the and it came with a Allen bolt, lock washer, and a nut as well. So run him straight through there. Get him nice and tight. All right, gang, y'all see we got that thing installed, man. You hear me? Looking real good. Blow off down there at the bottom. Got them all tight. Actually, for my people still here with me watching. Y'all got a nice little solid mount for this intercooler. Now, she ain't budging at all. Y'all see that? Ran it through here, so. Everything coming along. Coming along, gang. Did me a little fitment on the bump. Made sure the bump was straight. Let's we'll see how she running. Got him coming underneath. Look, bam. So, next video probably be welding um, V band on here, extending this pipe, and our four inch to three inch. Uh, rubber reduce all to be in by then. So comment, like, share, subscribe, guys. Y'all know we coming back with plenty more. Let's keep on getting up, turning it up, and we're gonna be up. You dead? Hey, yeah. You dead? Oh, yes. <laughs>